Um, thank you for all the hair discussions. It turns out some of us brush our hair, some of us don't. So it's okay. Also, I dyed it, and then I brushed it. So, um, and I've got a, I've got a, like a proper outfit on. <laughs> um, but most importantly, it's Veg Box Day. you know it's pretty exciting um let's look at my veg we've got shallots um purple sweet potatoes they're so good Just some like regular potatoes, red onions, also they've started doing a couple of new things, they started doing organic chickpeas, so I bought a jar of them. And also they do tofu. That's box one, my little note. Okay, and then I got another jar of um, white beans. I think they're like a haricot bean. I've got some delicious looking broccoli. I've got some kale. Oh, and all the packaging is compostable. And then, this is the exciting one. Look at these. Look at, mm, look at these. Check it out. These are Kalettes, I believe. Um, yeah, or Kalettes. 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 Uh, and it said they were kind of a cross between kale and sprouts. Like, a cross between two of the best things in the world. So that is going to be good. So that's the veg. A veg at coffee. Don't worry, I'll be back for the coffee. Day six. I'm a little bit of my dress. <laughs> Day six is... Oh, Nyangoma. From the Democratic Republic of the Congo. A collective of smallholder farmers. Hints of mulled wine. Okay. Mm. We've had um okay, we've had a breakfast request um video or like favourite breakfasts. Here's my number one favourite breakfast. I did have peanut butter on toast. You had peanut butter on toast. My breakfast are a bit. Yeah, I mean, I, we don't really have exciting breakfast. No. I mean, I'll show you what I do though, because it's not just basic beans. My head's in the beans. Look. Hob up to seven. <laughs> uh, um, do you know what? I've, I split this into three breakfasts. So, about that much beans. I'd say three tablespoons, approximately three tablespoons. It's good for two pieces of toast. Um, but that's not all. Some people would stop there and just warm that up on seven. But um, not me, hang on. Do you know what, actually, this morning we've got some a third of a can of chopped tomatoes, so I might just pop those in there as well. So they need using. Make sure they're, they're firmly chopped, because no one wants any bits of tomato, do they? It's disgusting. But for my iron intake, I recommend a teaspoon of molasses in your beans. Maybe not a whole teaspoon, but you know. A good amount. And 
and you're asking, are we done there? Well, we're not yet. Um, we're going to have some nutritional yeast. At the moment we've got this cheesy one. Cheesy seasoning, nutritional yeast. Just a little bit of that. Not too much. As the Polish dad that I cross um, says on a Friday on the last school pickup, not too much. Which he means he's not gonna not gonna drink too much over the weekend. Um, I'm gonna pop some hemp seeds in. Just a little thing of hemp seeds. Let that cook away for a little while, turn it down. Gonna add some Italian herb seasoning. And why not? Just a little pinch of turmeric. Go easy on the turmeric, lads. Just a little bit. Not too much. Some good content here. Back with my little toast and my big toast. You didn't have to have a big toast and little toast, that's just what I've gone for this morning. What I might do for aesthetics is cut the little toast in half and have it on either side like that. I'll show you in a second. And then we just spoon on the beans. Um, a little splash of olive oil. And for a garnish, I like to use just some seeds. Like that. A few more. Let me show you what we've done here. That's my, uh, my breakfast. And I'm just going to do a little cup of matcha to go with it. And just sit down and watch some QVC, really. There is, like, kind of pressure, kind of pressure from, you know, your friends. Okay, making a bit of a mess at the moment. I got the Christmas decks out. Um, and I dropped all of these behind there accidentally, so I've had to fish them out. Um, so yeah, it will get done. It's a task right now. I've got um, Christmas every day going on in the background. Uh, do you remember this one? Um, 12 days of Christmas Eve or whatever. Um, yeah, all right, okay. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. So I thought I'd narrate this little uh, montage of me going to work. I went to work in another office, um, we just kind of rent a desk and it's um, an office owned by some filmmakers this is the exciting view and then I filmed a very long segment on me just typing um, so here I am doing some work, coordinating, I'm a coordinator so I'm coordinating some stuff, I'm emailing, I'm writing a report which is before the other person, anyone else was in the office, I was alone for a bit um, and then when they do come in, I had to go, they had a interview, so I had to go and sit in the cafe instead. But I'm still typing away here, doing important business. Mm-hmm. Look at me go. So then, yeah, I went to Chapter, and I had lunch. They didn't have my favourite lunch, so I had that sandwich, which is like a teriyaki aubergine. And, I don't know, it. I wasn't a massive fan, so it was a little bit disappointing, but the coffee was good and they had a Christmas tree. It was warm in there and I ended up feeling quite sleepy and I went home to finish my workday at home. We only live really nearby so it wasn't very far. But they have a community garden and it's all obviously looking a little bit wintry but I thought these were pretty so there you go. That's the end of the montage. So today is uh, Wednesday. It's the um First Wednesday of the month, which means it's my poetry night. Um, uh, our usual spot that we usually go to Lufkin Cafe, 
um, they closed the park that it's in um, over the winter so we've uh, had to find a new location during the winter so we're in um, the corp where Shelf Life Books is um, so we're going to be in there so it's going to be low key so I haven't really done any advertising for it because I, I know it's confusing that we're in different locations and stuff so hopefully a, a few people will turn up um, what I usually do is sort of plan for it on the day um, by going through so I mean most of my not all but some of my poetry collections are um, here in the bedroom um, so I often just have a bit of a rummage around just sort of see what I haven't read to them before just to have some stuff to read by you know proper poets um, and then um, if I've written anything I'll read something of my own and hopefully they usually have written something themselves and so we just kind of it's very casual but so that's tonight so I'm planning for that um, I don't know I've, I mean I've got uh, the Phoebe Stucks uh, Platinum Blonde out so I'll have a look at that I enjoyed that collection I've got some Maggie Nelson um, some Karak Mexico City Blues um, but I'll have a rummage round and see what I find um, then I'll have a sit down and see if I've written anything worth worth sharing um, so that's today so pals I'm back home um I'm still at work, it's about three. So yesterday was just like really busy in work and then today is quite a lot, um, but I'm just writing lists of things I need to finish and uh, maybe putting some stuff for Monday. Um, yeah. And Bet's decorated when I was out. I was saying it's good that I leave the house because then he does nice things like that. So we'll show you his decorations. I know this is like a really weird <laughs> angle. Um, okay, bye. In a funny little mood, aren't you? Is it excited? You looking forward to it, Bobs? Yeah. Yeah. It's I think cold. it'll be cozy, like pre Christmas. Yeah, kind of it's going to be nice. Labyrinth. Yeah. Get my wallet open, I'll have a coffee or something. Yeah, I get a coffee. Can I have a lozenge? Yeah. There we go. You're making this filming hard. Oh. You're very cute. Got some poems. Got your own poem? Um, I've got a few. Yeah. I could read if I fancy it. Mostly uh, lesbian poems. Yeah. If you could read your own poem at the end of this video, that would be oh, good. Oh, gosh, no. Come on now. You said you would earlier. No, I didn't. Well, I'm going to leave this in and people can vote. <laughs> mm, thanks for editing today. Mm. Let me know if you um, use that beans recipe, guys. Hmm. Um, then currently editing that, it's going on forever. <laughs> right. Okay. So I need my phone. Yeah, you got your and phone. And my wallet. Okay. Okay. Bye. See you Bye. later. Hi. So Bert's out at Poetry. It's only a couple of hours, so he won't be that long. I was just um, editing this vlog, and I've been making some food. I thought I won't show you the food that much because Bert's already shared some um, baked beans so I'll just show you what we're going to eat for dinner. I made some pasta but I used those little, it doesn't look super appetising but I used those little kalettes. So I roasted those kalettes and then I've just um, fried up onion, the shallots and garlic and then it's also got like a little bit of um, just a little bit of the vegan cheese 
and a little bit of this cheesy seasoning as well and kind of um you know salt and stuff oh and there's one bit of vegan bacon i had left over so i put that in so there we go Papa Roo, I give to you. Oh, <laughs> this little dark patch. Come on in. Oh, it it's raining out there, actually, isn't it? Yeah, I got a little bit of rain going. Oh, God. What's the, uh... Oh, oh. Kaylette Pasta. Is this for me? Yeah. Oh, How is poetry? You didn't film anything. You said, that's I fine. Didn't. It's hard to do that, yeah. isn't it? I know a lot of people look uncomfortable having their photos taken and stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Um... It was lovely. It was yeah. really nice. Yeah, we were in the court. Were there many people? Um, there's usually about 12. Right? That feels like a lot to me. Yeah. yeah. Lots of people read. Yeah. Um, read some other people's poems. I read a, poem, a new poem I've written. Yeah. Um, it was nice. It was really nice sort of uh, being around people talking about that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, you know, uh. The good stuff. That's, so, that's yeah, good. Yeah. Well done, Bob. Yeah, and I was pretty good about it this week. Yeah, you didn't stress uh, this, yeah, this month. It's weird. It's sometimes you really stress and sometimes you're completely fine. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how and you, you know, like, rationally, you know, there's nothing... No, I know. Even if no, you turned up and didn't have anything, it would be fine, wouldn't it? It's just yeah. like a, a free thing. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been? Have you been right. Well, I've just edited and made pasta and then just watching a couple of... Bit of YouTube, yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. oh, shall I, uh, shall we end it here? You're a bit red face. Oh, I don't no think so. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. Anything then. else to say? No, it's really late. So. Oh, yeah, we're a bit late. Off a little bit late. Yeah. 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 I need to drink some water as well because. Do you? I find that hard to remember. Yeah. Yeah. Drink water out there before it's good for you. Well, it's harder in winter, isn't it? Because you yeah. don't want cold stuff. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've got day off tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yes. Thursday, isn't it? Yes. Uh, nice. So we'll see you tomorrow. It'll be a bit more yeah. civilised, won't yeah. it? Yeah. All right, um, then. Do you have an emoji? Oh, do you want a bit of an emoji today? I mean, you don't have to do an every day. Then a water, water emoji? A water emoji. Like a splash emoji. Oh. <laughs> um, a swimmer. A swimmer? Why are you doing water? She's been talking about water, drinking water. Oh, okay, right. A swimmer, a splash emoji's fine. Splash emoji. Yeah, yeah, go for well, that. Yeah, there's the tidal wave. Okay. Anything water. Yeah. yeah. Bye.